What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Last time my friends we defeated Fafel and Bowletta and put an end to their shenanigans, whatever it is they intended on doing. We put an end to it. Today we are going to be wrapping up this grand adventure once and for all. But before we begin, do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video. And also don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I had asked you guys to let me know what was your favorite moment of this game. And here are some of the responses that we got today's comic question of the day is not really a comic question i want you guys to let me know what was your favorite thing that you liked about this game and your least favorite thing that you disliked about this game uh i can't really name anything that i dislike about this game man this game is truly a masterpiece and i'm so glad they remade it for the 3ds it's funny i was thinking about it a long time ago uh when like uh paper jam came out what the next mario and luigi game was going to be like and i had no idea it was going to be a remake of Superstar Saga, but I'm glad it was because this game is absolutely amazing. Hands down, one of my favorite 3DS games of all time and my favorite Mario and Luigi game, like I said, time in and time out, uh, that this is my favorite game of uh, the Mario and Luigi series of all time. And I don't think anything can beat it. It's just such a classic game for me. So anyways, what are we doing in today's episode? Well, we're going to just be wrapping up this adventure once and for all. And I'm not going to be collecting all of the beans like I had said I was going to do before. And that's because there's really no point in doing so. Uh, I'm going to show off exactly what I have and what I don't have. But before I do that, I want you guys to pay close attention to the bottom screen. Take a look in the back behind the guide area and the records. You'll see that nice little Princess Peach window from Super Mario 64. I didn't notice this till yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, they actually put that in the suitcase. That's awesome. They even have that with them at all times. But I, 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 I never noticed it because, you know, I just I don't notice these little things, man. But anyways, go into records, click on the beans, you'll see that we have 60% of the beans in the game, and it'll show you each area and how many beans you've collected. See Hoo Hoo Mountain, it says I've only have, I have one of 22 beans, and it's literally the bean that I just picked up. We have Bean Bean Field, Chuckle Huck Woods, Woo Hoo University, Oho Huehis, Teehee Valley, Guajar Lagoon, Jokes, and Bowser's Castle. So... There's a lot of beans that I still have yet to collect, and all of the beans that you'll find in the wild underground are actually chuckle beans, and the, they're the most populated bean in the game, and those are the only beans that you need to complete the bean quest 100%, and I'll explain to you guys why beans aren't necessary to have in this game. Um, I mean, beans are primarily used for blending different, you know, coffees, uh, beverages that will help you out on your adventure, so... The idea is to use them as you're beating the game rather than, you know, waiting till the very end to collect them. And um, they give you so many chuckle beans that even I right now have to go back to, uh, you know, the Starbucks or whatever you want to call it. Professor Egat's coffee shop and blend the beans in order to be able to pick up more because I think I have almost 99. Let's take a look real quick how many I have exactly in my inventory. I have... Uh, I have 97 chuckle beans once you hit 99 you max it out and you can't collect any more beans So in order to get rid of them you have to literally blend them and I don't have other beans to blend them with so I can only make one type of beverage which is the chuckle Beverage I actually don't know what it's called man, but look at it guys. It's the castle town It's all destroyed. This is like my least favorite part about the game how the castle town is destroyed once you beat the game I mean, I just think they should have made it where it was fixed because this place was so peaceful once it was fixed, but now forever until, you know, I guess I reset the game, the castle town will always look like this. It's only for just a brief moment in this game. The castle town is perfectly fine, but and uh, other than that, it's literally going to be destroyed like this. So I'm going to be selling some of my uh, items, and that's because I have so many items, so many mushrooms as well. And the reason I have all these mushrooms is because you need them in order to max out Mario's ability and Luigi's ability, of course, uh, in terms of doing damage and whatnot for some of the items that we equipped it on them like the uh, mush badge and the, um, the, the the what's it called the the great force and whatever else we wanted to get so right now I have 2,500 coins I only need like a thousand coins because I'm gonna be showing off how to get the final two moves in the game again something that I should have done earlier on but I just didn't do and 
I don't know why, but it's whatever, man. I can't really be too hard on myself. So let's go ahead and show off Amiibo because I haven't shown these things off yet and I've never even tried it out myself. And this is going to be the first time that I'm doing it myself. So we're going to test it out and see what it is. Hey, ya bud. You heard about these things called stamps? There's these rumors around town. Seems like there are these things called Amiibo that can be used as stamps. I've never seen one myself. I'm embarrassed to ask, bud, but you don't happen to have one of these Amiibo stamps, do ya? I'll give you a little something if you give me one to, sh uh, to show me. Okay, fine. I'll show you one. So, so, um, I'm using the Mario Party Amiibo because I don't know if they uh, necessarily only use uh, specific kinds of Amiibo or whatnot, but we're using the Mario Party ones because I'm sure they'll work. So, go ahead and have your Wi-Fi turned on, and then go ahead and place the Amiibo on the touchscreen like that, and then remove Amiibo. There you go, and let's see what happened. I put Mario down. Oh, wow, there's no mistaking it. The, that's one of those stamps the rumors are talking about. Now then, could you maybe go ahead and stamp it on here? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. And, we're literally stamping. This is so cool. Look at that. It's like, hey, yeah, you're, you're confirmed to enter the Bean Bean Kingdom. Woohoo! It's a Mario! Very nice. That's so clean. I wonder how many stamps there are in this game. Probably a lot. So they want you to buy all the amiibo just to fill the stamps up. Whoa, get a look at that. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. As promised, here's your reward. Go on, take it. It's yours. We got a Chocola badge, something that's very easily obtained in this game. If you collect another stamp, uh, you can put them on this stamp sheet. And we received Mario and Friends stamp sheet. If you happen to place a stamp on it in, uh, in the records menu, show me. I'll give you a little something for your efforts. Yeah, also, if you have a Goomba, Boo, or Koopa Troopa amiibo, you can let me know. I have actually a Boo amiibo. Might as well go ahead and let him know that I have it. It's literally on my desk. How convenient. If you do that, bud, I'll hand over any stamp sheet. You can make use of it. All right, let's go ahead and do the Boo one. Hey, you bought your blah, 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 blah stamps. We got the uh, Goomba, Koopa Troopa, and the Boo one. I got you, my boy. Let's go ahead and place it. Wait, how do I... Okay, hold on. I go to menu. I go to records. Okay, oh, I didn't even read what it just said. Stamps. And then we're gonna do place a stamp. Woohoo! That's not a correct amiibo. That's literally a boo amiibo. What the heck is wrong with you, game? This is not a, the correct amiibo? Are you serious? Okay, let's try something else. Let's try a toad. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, maybe I gotta do a new one. Luigi, Princess Peach, Yoshi, Toad. Oh! I could do them all right now. And then remove Amiibo. And then guess what? Oh, we gotta do the, the stamp. We got a Toad! Okay, I get it now. This makes sense. So we can do Boo. Let's go ahead and place the Boo. There you go, remove it. And then put it back on the stamp sheet. Tag your man, there we go. Let's also do Peach. I might have actually all of them. I, the only one I don't have is Koopa Troopa. I don't have the Goomba. I have Bowser Jr., Bowser. Uh, obviously, I have all of these guys. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to do it like 100%. Because I never bought the Mario and Luigi ones. What? Oh, they want Luigi. So, Princess Peach. Here you go. Princess up Peach. Move it up. And then put it back down. Voila! We got a Peach Amiibo. Stamp. So we have four of these guys, and there's like five left. I could do the rest, but I don't really know what the reward is when you do it. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see what happens. Maybe he'll give you something like amazing if you do them all. But it's unfortunate because I can't do them all. I don't have the Goomba and the, the, the Koopa Troopa one. I don't think anybody in the house has them, so it's not like I could do it if I really wanted to. Unless I went out and I spent 30 bucks buying those two Amiibo, which isn't worth it if you ask me. Because they're just pieces of plastic that I'll never end up using in my life. Put them in a display case and that's it. It's not worth it if you ask me. Hey, yeah, bud. You hear about these things called stamps? I got these guys. Really? Can you show me? Well, I have a boo. I'll go ahead and place him. There you go. And then remove Amiibo. And then see what he says. Oh, wow, there's no mistaking it. That's one of those stamps, the rumors, blah, blah, blah. We got ourselves a Bowser's Minion stamp sheet. Are you for real? All right, let's take a look at it. Let's see what it says. And it doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Let's go back to stamps. And then we got the Bowser Minions ones. So this is, uh, oh, my gosh. There's so many of them. What the heck is all this? There's even a second sheet here. So many stamps that I need. Well, this is not something that I would want to do, to be honest. This is just added content that 
in my opinion, is kind of unnecessary. So I don't necessarily want to do that right now. I'm not really big on using amiibo in games. I mean, in Breath of the Wild, it was cool because you actually reaped rewards out of it. Um, in Mario Odyssey, it's, I guess, cool because you also get rewards out of it as well. But with stamps, eh, what are stamps really going to do for me, man? It's just filling up a sheet just to make yourself feel better about something. You know, 100%ing the game, giving you more things to do or a reason to buy an amiibo. I mean, I'm sure you can use them for other games as well, but... It's not something that you definitely need for this game. It doesn't affect the story or give you any like cool items or whatever. And thankfully, that's not the case, man, because that would actually suck if that were the case. But anyways, making our way back down here again. This is something that I should have done before I beat the game. The thing about this game is it doesn't have a post game. Like I said, uh, once you beat the game, that's it. There's nothing for you to do. You could literally do everything you need to do uh, before beating the game. And that's, I guess that's a good thing. But it's just once you beat the game, there's literally nothing else to do. So there's like no replay value at all. I am Thwomp and I love good game. Test your luck for a mere 200 coins. Are you guys ready to show me the mightiest swings you've got? Yes, I am. He's going to go ahead and place three Thwomp blocks for 200 coins break any one of these that you like with your hammer if you're lucky enough you'll get yourself one incredible treasure so i'm not sure if breaking any one of these things is uh, okay so you can break literally anyone and the first time around you'll get yourself a secret scroll and this scroll gives you the last bro move that we needed so when i beat this game i didn't have all the uh, bro attacks and unfortunately i could have had them but I didn't, and these bro attacks would have definitely come in handy, especially against Windy Koopa, the one that we'd use for Luigi, but I just, like I said, didn't have it. So go talk to this guy. He'll ask you for 500 coins, the same exact game, nothing too fancy, and then he'll tell you to break the thing with the hammer. Again, you could break pr pretty much anyone. Too bad? What? 500 coins? Okay, well, that sucks. Well, it's a good thing I have more than 500 coins, you know? I spent all my coins doing this. Or, I, I, I guess, I spent... I spent, uh... Oh, please give me the scroll. Oh my gosh, it's, uh... 800 coins, not bad. Okay, I was gonna say, man. I need my scroll. Where is the scroll? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, dude. He's gonna crush me. How dare you threaten me like that, dude? I oughta stomp... I oughta turn you into dust. For that threat, man. You never threaten the Mario Brothers. I have a hammer that can break pretty much anything. There it is, guys. The scroll. You got scroll, too. And guess what? The bros learned another move. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the waterbending scrolls from Avatar The Last Airbender. When Aang and Katara went to learn some, you know, waterbending techniques. It's pretty cool. So, we're going to show off these moves. And um, after you do them for a certain amount of times, you'll unlock the, uh, the super bro attack. Just like we did with all the other bro attacks, you do it like a number of times and then it becomes super and it's literally the same attack but it does way more damage and you do it just a little bit more differently but for the most part it's pretty much the same. So I'll go ahead and make my way over this way just to show off the, okay you need to leave me alone Lackapy, for real, like what is your problem dude? I'm gonna jump on these guys and see exactly what kind of new attacks we got. I already know what they are but... I'm gonna show them off anyway. So the new attack that we have is Swing Bro with Mario. So what you wanna do here is you wanna go ahead and grab Luigi, hold the A button until Luigi spins, let go, and then boom, smack your enemy into oblivion, just like that with Luigi. And then uh, with Luigi's attack, we have the Cyclone Bros, which you're going to go ahead and smack Mario, and then spin the A button as fast as you can, and then Luigi will go ahead and ram into some enemies with his hammer so the faster you spin mario the more attack you'll get pretty much pretty easy attacks to do like i said the more you do them the higher chance you'll have at a getting the uh, super bro attack but other than that you know nah, not really a whole lot going on here so it's unfortunate because i can't really use these attacks anymore had i known they gave me those scrolls i would have gotten them before battling the final boss but i truly didn't think it was that important to be honest also, there's this little area that I didn't show off as well in the game that I'll go ahead and show off. And there's another little spot over there. I wonder how you break that. I was going to say, maybe use bombs, but bombs definitely don't exist in this game. So, we got these uh, that are called Simu blocks or something. You simultaneously hit them with Mario and Luigi at the same time. So, what we need to do is we need to, we need to climb up with Mario here. And then... Uh, Oh, maybe I gotta do it this way. That's probably what it is. Yeah, there you go. That makes a lot more sense. And then jump at the same time. 
and then another bridge will be activated. So this is something that I should have done way back earlier on in the game, but I just didn't do it because, you know, I suck, man. I really do. I should have done these things, but I don't know, man, what, what prevented me. So we're going to go ahead and jump. Oh, okay, that screwed up. Let's go ahead and do it again. Let me go ahead and jump. You're supposed to, this final one, you're supposed to just jump with Mario. And then get Luigi to just fall naturally. And then you're going to meet yourself a Montimo, which we've been seeing a lot in this game. Hey, congratulations. Excellent job. Here you go. You got some wool trousers. Thanks, buddy. So we went ahead and did that. Now, there's a couple things that I want to show off as well before I end off this episode. This entire episode is just supposed to be me showing off all the things that I said I would come back and do eventually. But I never did. So I'm doing them now to keep, you know, true to my word. It's unfortunate though, I really wanted to collect all the beans in this game, but th I thought about it and I just felt like it would take forever. Either it would be one really, really long video that would be super boring, just me collecting beans, uh, or I would have to like make a series out of it, which again, I don't think people would want to see because beans have no significance. You collect other beans, like, you know, who beans, uh, woo beans, and all those other different kinds of beans by doing different uh, mini games and whatnot, which I'll show off as well. But the chuckle beans are the only ones you need to beat this game 100%. Now, here's war pipe number eight, the only war pipe we didn't have in the game. Uh, so now we have all the war pipes activated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so now we're making our way to, uh, let me see, where is it? Uh, to Little Fun Guy Town, and the reason we're here is because I want to show off what was in the arcade. Remember that Toad that was playing the arcade game, and I thought he was playing Smash? Well, it turns out he wasn't playing Smash, so I'm here to show you guys exactly what game he was playing. So once you beat the game, you can come back to the arcade, and you'll see that he's done playing the game that he was playing. And it's kind of misleading because you look at the screen and it looks different than what it actually is. But are you ready to see what this game actually is? I'm about to show you guys. Would you like to play? Yes, I would. It's the barrel game from the SS Chocola. I know, and it's not that exciting. But you can see on the bottom screen that depending on how well you do, you get X amount of beans. Gold beans, actually, which you can use to blend different beverages and whatnot. So we're not gonna play this because I don't need to, I don't need to show this off to be honest. It's not really something important. Um, it would have been cool, like thinking about it. Like imagine if they made like this one right here, since it's unused. This old machine. You click it, you, and then it loads up Smash Bros. from 3DS. Like wouldn't that be sick? They would. It's it, like it seems like it would be easily done. Like imagine if it just loaded up one level, just one game, one level, three stocks, or even like a two-minute match, and then you play it, and then that's it, and that's all you get. You can't choose characters. You can't do anything else. It's a simple one-match game. That's something they missed out on. I feel like Nintendo should have done something cool like that. Reference Smash Bros. in this game would have been nice and clean, but unfortunately, they didn't do that. So, other than that, guys, I don't think there's anything else left for me to show off. If we go look at the record menu, we'll actually see that for blocks, we've collected 69% of them. And there's a lot of blocks that I still haven't hit. I never really took the block hitting seriously. For music, the same thing. We've almost found all the music things in the game. Um, there's still some that we don't have, but you can play them on repeat or whatever. Uh, let's actually see. Do we have like uh, Bowser's Castle? Do I have it? I don't think I got it. Bowser's Road DX? Let's see. No, no, that's not it. I guess Bowser's Minion March. Oh, okay. That's the Bowser Minion March. So you could listen to the music if you wanted to on repeat or shuffle, or you could just have the whole playlist play itself from start to finish. Oh, yeah, the Fawful music. That's classic, dude. Stardust Field Area 64. Dude, we have everything so far. How come I don't have Bowser's Castle, dude? Bowser's Road. I don't have Bowser's Castle. Maybe I didn't get it or something, but it's whatever. And then stamps. It'll show off the stamps that you don't have and the ones that you do have. This is the Super Mario Sheet, the Minion Sheet 1, 2, and 3. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what happens when you collect all the stamps. The story so far, Mario and Luigi arrive at Bowser's castle. It's finally time for the last battle. And then there will be many fierce enemies in the castle if you want. Return to uh, the surface to prepare. So yeah, I mean, the game pretty much by default, once you beat it, just pretends like you never really beat Bowser. So you can go back and fight him over and over again. Or Bowletta, rather. It's not really Bowser. And Fawful is dead at this point, so you can never fight him again. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it, guys, for this uh, series, for this episode. 
Um, I hope you all enjoyed this let's play. I really did. I had a lot of fun playing this game. You know, it was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But then again, I expected the game to be short because it is a very short game. But that was our adventure here in the Bean Bean Kingdom. It's very sad to see the adventure come to an end, to be honest. Because, you know, I don't know how long it'll be before we get the next Mario & Luigi game. I'm hoping it's soon. Maybe, I, I mean, I've noticed a pattern with Nintendo. They've been releasing them like every other year. Dream Team 2013, uh, in 2015 they had Paper Jam, 2017 they had this game, so who knows, maybe if 3DS is still around in a couple years and they're making games for it, in 2019 we'll get the next Mario and Luigi game and head out on a grand adventure, which I think will be really fun, but between then and now, we'll definitely be playing Mario and Luigi Dream Team on my channel, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually really excited to hype into the, or to jump into that game and to uh, replay it and experience it because, like I said, I've only ever played it once and I don't remember it at all. So playing it again would be like a first time experience almost. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. But that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.